Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. How are you? Um, if you're new here, hi. Uh, welcome. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and um, if you learn something, please like the video. Also, uh, press the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So I just created this um, pretty evening look. Actually, you can wear it in the day as well. But I find it it's more like um, a date night kind of a look. Actually, I created this look using this gorgeous palette right here from LA Girl. If you want to see what I did with it and how I got this gorgeous looking look. Continue watching. I just want you to know that you're really appreciated here. Alright, so to start off this look, I'm first going to get my hair out of the way. So to start off with, I have my skincare on. Mm. I'm going to use this uh, Wet n Wild Primer. And I'm going to take some on my fingers. about four to five drops and press it into the skin. Now for foundation, I'm going in today with uh, Wet n Wild foundation in the shade uh, Desert Beige. Photo focus foundation. This is a full coverage, uh, not exactly full full coverage, but it's more on the full side. Start with it. I'm taking a buffing brush to just blend everything out. I'm going to go in with concealer and for concealer I'm using my trusty Krylon concealer in the shade FS22 I'm using the same brush I'm using the same brush to get it on same brush that I applied the concealer with, I'm going to blend it out. Okay, uh, quickly moving on then, I'm going to go on to contouring and for that I'm using the shade uh, FS27. I'm going to take a short brush like this, pick up the product. And then start drawing lines on my face, right under the cheek. Now I'm going to start blending with the angle brush, like this one. And blending everything upwards, I'm not dragging the product down. I'm I'm going to blend it upwards, so like this. I'm going to use powder to set everything in place. I'm using the NARS uh, Orgasm. It is so beautiful. I'm going to use a bronzer really quick, wet and wild bronzer. 
in the shade Dolce de Lice, this brush. Palette. Uh, let's just take a second to appreciate the packing. Absolutely beautiful. I got this from uh, hawkmakeup.com. That's H O K um, makeup.com. And uh, I got a bunch of things from that site actually. If you want to see uh, what all I got, there's a um, IGTV video on my Instagram. So you can go and check that out open it up look at these colors so I have uh, dipped my fingers in almost all these colors uh, just because I was curious but I haven't yet created a look with them so today's the day I have no idea what I'm going to do but there's so there's so many beautiful colors in this I want to put everything on my face but to start off with I'm gonna take this color this is called curious I'm gonna take curious uh, all over my crease first so for that I am taking a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna start blending this into the crease. This is quite nice and pigmented. This is a matte shade so I'm liking it so far. Okay, now that blended, I'm going to take a smaller bl uh, blending brush uh, like this one and I'm going to go into the shade called Collective this, and blend the shade a little bit lower where I blended the previous one. For a little more precision, so I'm going to use um, this shade called Poise. Poise, and take that and use. Oh, that is dusty. I'm going to use this on the um, outer corner of the eye. Shadow palette doesn't have any fallout, so I'm really happy about that. So I usually don't do uh, foundation first, I tend to do my eyes first because I hate the cleanup of fallout. So I'm really glad that this uh, palette doesn't have any, and I'm quite happy with the pigmentation also of the shadows. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to um, use a glittery shade. 
I'm going to use a shade called Exclusive. using the shade exclusive and I'm going to be using it with my fingers because it is a very nice glittery shade and I don't want to waste it on the brush I know it's going to apply really well with my fingers so I'm going to take it whoa Okay, now I'm going to take uh, a flat brush to just uh, clean up a little bit. So I'm taking a fat, um, fat no, flat brush like this and I'm just going to clean up the lines. palette is that they don't have a very um, rich dark um, brown or anything they mostly have a lot of um, matte brown actually they don't have they mostly have uh, crease colors so I want some darkness as you can see this is the darkest uh, matte brown that they have and I'm not very happy with it I'm going to be using another palette um, I think I'll use this uh, wet and wild palette it's called uh, rose in the air and it has this um, deeper brown shade and I'm going to go back and just on the corners of my eye just intensify the color a little bit I'm directly going in with uh, lashes but uh, if you want this would be a good time to line your eyes the darkest shade with this small brush and I'm going to go into the lower lash line now I'm going in with a mascara and for that I'm using the Lash Paradise going in on the lower lash line first so overcoming a few um, mishaps here uh, my camera battery died and I didn't realize and I kept on doing my makeup so um, anyway the, I'm just gonna tell you the things I got on I got on my inner corner highlight and I used um, the shade from the same palette called unique and I just put that in my inner corner and a little bit on the um, brow bone and then I obviously got uh, my eyebrows on and I use the wet and wild um, brow palette in the shade uh, ash brown 
and then I also got my highlight going you uh, that is also wet and wild um, in the shade uh, blossom glow I uh, got all these things on and now I'm going to go in with uh, lipstick really quickly so I'm going to go um, with a lip liner first and line my lips my lips are lined I'm gonna go in with uh, the wet n wild uh, liquid catsuit uh, liquid lipstick in the shade um, rebel rose it's one of my favorite shades and I'm gonna go back and um, apply this all over my lips this is a repurchase I had this shade and I wore it off completely and then I got it again because it's such a nice color get on some earrings and I'm going to show you the final look. So this is the completed look. I hope you like it. Do you like it? Do you love it? So thanks for watching guys, bye!